Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is all set and ready to introduce many different revelations that will lead to saga-wide implications within The Rise of Skywalker by director J.J. Abrams. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Episode 9 that a lot of fans are very much in tune with is, of course, exactly how J.J. Abrams is going to really introduce the characters of Rey and Kylo Ren in a different sense in comparison to how they were used in both The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens. That's one thing to look forward to, is that it has been said before in the past that for The Rise of Skywalker, we are going to get a completely different version of Kylo Ren and Rey in this story where you can tell that they have evolved ever since the events of The Last Jedi. Jedi, which by the way episode 9 takes place roughly one year after the events of episode 8. Now with that being said, these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting for episode 9. Now specifically what's really intriguing about all of this is that shot descriptions consisting of a sequence where it's explained that Rey is said to be traveling to a place called the Lost City where she is in search of ancient Jedi and Sith lore. It's explained that during her travel, she is also looking for new secrets related to the Force. It's explained that as Rey, at one point in time, she comes across the Land of the Forbidden, which is said to be a place full of ancient Sith ruins and structures, where she is said to feel strange dark side energy and dark side whispers that are calling out to her. It's explained that in the scene, Rey makes her way down a spiral set of stone steps, where she comes across an ancient Sith temple that is said to be hidden below. Once Rey steps into the Sith temple, she begins to hear terrible screams in the distance, along with strange whispers getting louder and louder as she approaches the very center of the Sith temple that is very dark. Now, it's explained that eventually Rey comes across a vision of a dark side version of herself that she fights in a lightsaber duel with, where as the saber duel progresses, it's explained that Dark Rey begins to age rapidly in order to promote fear within Rey as a way to seduce her to the dark side of the Force. The aged version of Dark Rey is said to be very scary and frightening in design, where Rey needs to control her emotions to not give in to the fear of seeing a potential future version of herself. Eventually, Rey is able to strike the dark vision of herself by cutting off the hand of Dark Ray, where the double-bladed lightsaber is lost down a cliff. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, the thing about Episode 9 here is that we do know that J.J. Abrams is going to be really introducing a lot of dark elements in this film. In fact, J.J. has said before in the past that he plans to make this the darkest Star Wars film in the Skywalker saga itself, which really is a big task to complete. It really is. I'm not quite sure if J.J. is really going to be able to do that, you know, how can you really top Anakin Skywalker killing younglings and Anakin Skywalker getting burned alive on Mustafar and Darth Vader getting put together in the suit and Padme's death, all of which really make Revenge of the Sith the darkest Star Wars film, at least in my point of view. So in order to make it darker than that, it's going to take a lot. It really is. Uh, so looking at JJ though, I really do find this scene to be very intriguing, I will say, because we actually got to see Dark Ray for a brief segment at the very end of the second teaser trailer back in August of this year over at D23. A lot of fans reacted to it in different ways, thinking that she would be turning to the dark side, and a lot of fans thought that it's just a vision, and that was actually the case. You know, it is indeed just a vision that Ray is going to fight in Episode 9 numerous times. It's actually said to be three Dark Ray visions in the Rise of Skywalker that will serve as vital challenges challenges for Rey, obstacles, if you will, that she has to go through. Now, the thing about Dark Rey here in this particular scenario is that it's actually explained that Dark Rey ages rapidly in order to seduce Rey to the dark side by stirring fear within her by aging herself rapidly in order to show her exactly who she could become in the future. Now, these dark visions of Rey, by the way, are all said to be intentionally initiated by Palpatine from afar while he's over in the Unknown Regions as a way to somehow lure Rey to the dark side of the Force. Now, what I like about this, though, is that this is kind of like introducing the vision between both Luke and Vader on Dagobah and kind of taking it to a different level where a lot of prequel trilogy choreography will be used. In fact, the fight sequence between both Rey and Dark Rey is said to be very similar 
to when Darth Maul fought Obi-Wan Kenobi. So that's another thing to look forward to as well. The fact that they are going to do something to that extent in this movie, you know, by following in the footsteps of the prequel trilogy, giving us the Dark Ray moments. In fact, uh, you know, Dark Ray really is going to be quite a piece of merchandise. We have Disney promoting the Funko Pop things for Dark Ray already that is actually going to be in stores either very soon or after the film releases, I'm not quite sure. But Dark Ray is going to be a big thing in this film. It's not going to be like a three second thing. It's going to be a big challenge for Ray that she has to overcome in the first, second, and third acts of episode nine. That's really going to develop her character as we go through along with this film. So anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all also very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.